I thought it was good, didn't you? Yeah, I'm motivated. I could use it right now. We're headed to Revive. Mike's enough, nice enough to get my blood work again. Uh, is the doctor going to be there today? I hope the nurses are. Yeah, I hope the nurses are too. And I'm going to tell them I got a boo-boo in my groin area. Oh. <laughs> too bad she couldn't administer your stuff every day. Ooh. That'd be fun. That'd be very fun. Tell her to shoot like 50 different things from hormones to vitamins glutathione if you had, if you if you had uh say you were a multi-millionaire yeah would you hire maybe a nice bohemian with a bouncy booty to just live and give you your injections perfect live in i would definitely them? first thing i do rob is have you come move in and a few other associates if it was imagine <laughs> i would make sure the building is brand spanking new yep brand new top of the line uh, yes. AC. Uh, nice marble tile. There wouldn't be any cloth or. And a lot of you guys don't realize if you don't keep your clothes in the closet or covered in a bin, all that lint you're breathing in. That's what the old place I was doing. All the mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, just like yesterday, when I put on when you put on a brand new shirt without washing it first, it, it, it's like you can smell the fumes of whatever. Yeah they're using. Now I know The Rock hasn't really divulged what he has, but I'm sure in the homes he has a chef, yep. an assistant. Yep. I mean, I'm talking to somebody, you know, the maids obviously, but someone to, I get the state-of-the-art kitchen with grills, yeah. freezers, and obviously I would have, I would hire a bodybuilding coach as far as meals, a trainer. Who would you hire? For meals, I would have to say, I would hire Amin or Chris Aceto. Yeah? Dave, well, Dave's probably busy, yeah. Uh, and it would be top of the line hormone experts, not necessarily in the bodybuilding world, but in the industry. I know there's some out there that are beyond, beyond compare. And obviously I would have a masseuse, there goes the big Bahamian idea. Yep. Or a big white gal that's nice, big, and strong. You know, ex volleyball player. Uh, definitely, I would have an assistant to bathe me, shave me, and even like in Saudi Arabia to wipe me. Or what if you if you're misbehaving to spank you as well? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I'm sure is what The Rock has. Yeah, like an on-demand spanker. Yeah, the finest of foods, of course, and I think The Rock has collages of us in our videos in his spank bank. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's kept himself up well. He's a couple years older than me, not as impressive as me, but yeah. Well, how do you think with his budget? I mean, he's really got no excuse. Yeah, but definitely the masseuse and a, and a, someone to stretch me, a flexibility trainer. And a nice gal to come in and have us do the cardio where she could, I want to see three more, dress up real sexy, that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe with a whip or... Yeah, and we also, I promised that for years, Rob. I hope we can do it to have a girl do that to like us a, while a we train. A dominatrix workout? Exactly. I promised it for years. Emma was close to doing it. She probably would have done it if she was still here. All we got to do is go on the website and stop at the ATM. We could do it tomorrow if you want. <laughs> and they'll be in heaven saying this is all you got to do is, is exercise with, with us <laughs> compared to their usual. Well, hopefully we can get that ASAP. Yeah. Also, I would have, I would find out the finest beds that are contoured specifically to our body. It's like they take a mold of our body and they make a, the finest bed out of it. And the room is the perfect, you know, the HVAC and all that, but completely dark for sleeping. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. You know what's very strange is even on like a TV yeah. or on like a, a dehumidifier, any little gadget, a charger, they all come with these, these lights. lights. Yeah, yeah. I cover mine up. I actually got to get oh, some wow. more tape. Uh, 
That's that is true. Do you think a little light like that can throw you off or not? They say it can. Uh, because when the moon is out at night, it's not always pitch black. Yeah, and, and God would have known that the moonlight is going to, obviously you're going to need it. But I don't know, I'd have to do some more research and find some more experts on it. Hmm. But definitely a sh two or three people cooking the food. Making, I mean, right there. Having a shake, it just takes it right to you. What about like they put you in a high chair and they got that tray and they can feed it to you too? Yeah. Who would you pick for that? Would you would you hire Shelly from the old club that remain nameless for any services? Definitely, Shelly would be definitely. She's she's very trustworthy. She's very cute. She can make you some chicken tikka masala. Uh huh. She's like Arnold's housekeeper. <laughs> you know, Arnold had Maria Shriver there and. For some reason, he saw his housekeeper, he got turned on, he says, come here. And then you have Joseph Puena. Yeah, didn't she look like a bloodhound? Yeah. There's something about her turned her on, so. Turned him on, yeah, probably all the time. Yeah. And of course, what, is she going to turn him down? Shit. Right. But that's what, be what I would do, and obviously, I would have a family. I think Tom Brady does this protocol, too. What's that? The same as The Rock, where, you know, everything's there. Yeah. I heard his diet is so strict. But it's good because he has chefs making it. Yeah, chefs who are making it taste good. Yeah. You know, with their little parsley and garlics and shit. I mean, real fresh, wild-caught yeah, fish imagine? and grass-fed beef. And today, with all the, you know, uh, gluten-free different things that they yeah. have out there, he, he, can, he can eat... Like the like junk food, but they can make it in such a healthy way. That, uh -huh. You know what I mean? Probably make filet filet mignon wagyu burger. Yeah. And obviously, I'd research the finest water systems. So I don't necessarily think filtered water is the best. Yeah. But I think a nonstop supply of Avion bottled water. Yeah. By uh, the is truck. Is that the one load. that comes in glass? No, well, but Whole I would. Has I, one that comes but in that's glass. probably better. Yeah, it definitely. Is, yeah. Um, you know, the very wealthy people, that's what they, they get cases and cases. Yeah, I think Fiji water is top of the line. It See, is, I don't think yeah. that ionized filtered water is what we're meant to drink, huh. especially as our main source of water. It just seems too unnaturally, you know? Yeah. But definitely the masseuse is because... You know, deep tissue. So someone to stretch you out where she they have those rack devices and she puts you in and does it. I thought we were cleared up here with this weather. Take a look again, maniacs. Look at those Florida. Look how dark that is. You know we're getting nailed with a rainstorm, a monsoon when you see that. And it's it's doing it out there. Yeah. Rain it could be I mean I was literally 10 feet away from me, it was dry, and I see the rain come. And then you go right through it, and then it'd be, it'd be dry again. Hey, do you, is this just for my car? Until I get to your place, or maybe halfway, this car is not cold. Even with the AC blasting, like it is now. I think that's where the sun's out. So Even without the sun? That's just normal for Florida, for it to take forever. Then. Yeah, now check it with when it's raining. Now, if you're not it's seeing the difference, it comes fast. Okay, it's yeah, yeah. Fast. I mean, the heat, that's, that's the sun wild. is so strong that it's just going to come. And being a black car, you got to. I got to get one of those uh, starters. You know, it starts the car from outside of it so that it can sit with the air. Oh yeah, like the new yeah. Plus, being a black car, you're just sucking up heat. Like you said, I need a convertible. Even if it's a, a cheaper model, like a Chrysler. Well, I know of somebody that offered a 1971 cherry red Corvette with a brand new V12. Get my drift. I don't even know if we could both fit in there, let alone yeah. let alone me, let alone mm -hmm. one of us. But that would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. And the reason they say convertible is it doesn't. Just getting that fresh air like that. Oh, Vitamin gotta, D. Yeah. 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 Exactly. If I had a convertible, even if it was a crappy like. A, 
Chrysler Sebring or something. Yeah. I can get 45 minutes of sun just on the highway coming to get you. Yeah, and you're getting wind, so it's actually going to be like a fan. Yeah, and fresh It's not going to be that bad. Yeah, that's why I like riding the bike, too. You get that benefit. You see my legs, Maniac, see Rob's legs. You're getting, we're getting a lot of vitamin D, even from this thing, because the sun's so strong. I can't stress enough the importance of vitamin D. Hey, uh, a fan asked me, this is a great question. Um, you, don't, you don't talk about Christina Broccolini that much anymore. Is there a reason? No, until I, well, I go see her. It, it actually hurts. It makes me want to cry. What? Just the thought of her. I want to break down in tears. I like the last thing she put up when she was in. They took it was sent to me last April. The interview in Milan, Italy. Did you see that? No. The Latin Network interviewed her because she's living over there now with her husband and kids. And she was talking about the pandemic and how everything was closed. And out of all those t Latin Network interviews, every, all the other stars on it got like 600 views or 200 or 10. She's got 15,000 views on the interview and counting. because of the maniacs. Yeah, every comment, too. So. So you know she knows who you are. <laughs> absolutely. Without a doubt. Well, what's she knew funny I was, is I, I doubt she takes the time out to watch enough of it to understand you. You get what I'm saying? Well, I heard she made a quote saying he, that he's hilarious, but he kind of creeps me out. No, <laughs> that would make sense. Only because she doesn't know you, you know? Yeah. She's only going by what she sees in those short little clips. But I just wanted to meet her and hug her. I don't even want to... It's not a relationship with her. I just fa fascinated her when she did that show in high school. I'll just tell her if, if uh, the nose twitches three times within five seconds, then you might have to worry. <laughs> did you, I see Adam McLeod was at the James L. Knight Center doing it at ADW. Oh, wow. They showed him ringside. I guess somebody... Came out and tried to attack Chris Jericho. In McLeod's safe. I think step. so. Him and a couple other guys. In McLeod's safe. Yeah, thing. yeah. <laughs> no, really. Well, he was there at ringside. With the with the uh, cameras. Oh, that's awesome. Real serious look on his face. Oh my gosh! Can you imagine that he's been, he's he's like a little kid in Toys R Us right now? Well, he looks serious. He don't look like a mark. I'll tell you that. But yeah, it's. Uh, he's the perfect guy for that job. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm hmm. He can be very professional. Very professional, and, and his editing work was always great. I know? wish he would do his own wrestling podcast. That'd be a good niche. I asked him. He won't do it. I asked uh, him. I said, me and Lenny should do, like, the night after AEW, we should uh, do, like, an AEW review podcast. Yeah. And he doesn't want to do it. We can do it, but McLeod makes it because he, he's, he's, like, a real... He, he knows the ins and outs of it. And I'm sure he hopes he shows the guys... What do they call him? The boys backstage. His clip of his 16-second victory. Yeah. I'm sure they get a kick out of that. Yeah. Well. That's awesome, man. Uh, and he I'm, did a I'm question like you did. He copied your format saying, who says I, who thinks I should do a live at the event? And 100% said, yes, obviously. Yeah. Why not? I, I hope he wouldn't get in trouble for that. Oh, we could have went if we knew it was at James L. Knight Center. Where's that? Down in Miami. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gangrel now has a podcast, and he's got a sick studio. It's very dark with, like, there's glow in the dark, and then there's, like, these dark red and purple lights and stuff. That's what we need is a yeah. studio. Where, does, where do you think his studio is at? Sit around here somewhere. You think people have studios you could rent just for like a podcast? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Of course. We really do, even with the big Lenny show backdrop, which you made. Exactly. But I think even if it's, I think even more for than just podcasts, like a something somewhere for me to get up and go out and be in an office, so I feel like I'm at work. You know. Yeah. Start editing stuff. Sit down. Yeah. I wish Adam still had that. You want to talk about a clean, brand new office? Yeah. I asked him about that. Oh, too. that was like heaven. Yeah. Of course, we had Jay over there, drunk as a skunk. I wonder how much he paid for it. I don't even know. You still have it? You can get a decent office for like 800 bucks. Huh. I think. You can live in there. I mean, shit. <laughs> I don't like Dave Palumbo's new, with the pictures on the wall. 
for his stuff. Mm, yeah, well, I don't like I think it at he all. Should, I think he should do it for some things, like when he's on, like for some things, but not everything. Yeah. But you know, that's up to date. We should ask Mike at Revive if we can turn one of the rooms into a podcast. Yeah. Location. <laughs> I asked. Um, I asked you know who if we can do it in the in the garage. But, uh, he's turning. But we'll talk about okay, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, the the ideal situation would be, you know, either one of us has a, a place with an extra bedroom, or we we get an office place and do everything professional. Even if we had a bedroom in there, we could arrange it so just move the bed out of the way. You know and... why too? When when we ha- if we have people on the podcast. Mm-hmm. It'd be nice to have somewhere cool that they can come and hang out and we can, you know, treat them nice. Yeah, go over some things first. Right, right. Get it's, Big Larry I on. I don't like doing it on Zoom that much, honestly. Yeah. Big Larry seems like a good permanent guest. Of course, yeah. He could probably help us find office space, you know? Probably help us find a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So I keep getting these comments and these messages that say, um, why do you take juice? You don't even look like you take it. <laughs> and my response to that is the people who are saying that obviously have never taken anything and they still believe that it's like magic. You know, like all you got to do is take a shot of trend and you're uh-huh. going to turn Without into, a doubt. You're going to turn into whatever, you know. I don't diet, right? I eat like shit and I... You know, I, I train hard enough to feel accomplished for the day, but I'm not training for the Olympia. But I, yeah. I explained to them I take it mostly for the... It has a nootropic effect. Yeah, yeah. It increases your confidence. So it's just as beneficial mentally as it is uh, physically. And I think a lot of them feel that that rip look is a steroid look. Right. A lot right, of those right. guys that are ripped, like that fighter Logan Paul, what's he weigh, a buck 60? Right. A buck 85? Come on. Right. When I think of steroids, I think of bulk, I think of size. Yeah. And I think of a big guy that's hard, not a fat guy. Yeah, so my response was... um, (coughs) Very ignorant. Just because somebody doesn't have abs, they're not on steroids. Look at all the power lifters. Yeah, or veins. I mean, give me a break. Some of those big, fat power lifters are taking tons of stuff. But It's it's just ignorance, but we'll teach you. Keep watching the big guys. But I did see my physique in yesterday's video, and I noticed if I just got some ab definition... I would look, that would If you, if you, if you uh, lost some water, a couple percent. Yeah, if I lost some water and I really started focusing on abs and maybe, you know, clean up the diet a tiny bit. Yeah. Um, not that far away from where I'd like to be, so. I mean, yeah, I went from 452 to 260 dry and ripped to the bone. It's not a big deal. Right. But here's the thing with me, too, is when you, when you go through serious shit in life and you realize what real problems are yeah then all this stuff seems silly it's like I could give two shits if I have abs or not or whatever that that seems so petty and insignificant to me me, it's mainly for the bodybuilding stage or some gals like it right but I had abs all throughout high school to where they were so severe uh, developed that girls would always ask me let me see your squares yeah and I would gladly do that and also I would show them my little (laughs) <laughs> Other thing too, I was famous for that. What would, what so I was proud you, of it at the time. What would you refer to that as? My genitals. <laughs> uh, another day of potty jokes. <laughs> I tried to trick them that we're being intense with the rock music. It didn't work. They caught on. So. No, I'm only joking. But I didn't do the I didn't do the rock music uh, in yesterday's video just uh-huh. because I couldn't get it on. Did you watch what came out today? I think it's yeah. actually coming out now. Uh, yeah, it came out earlier. That was the car one, right? Oh, Where, I didn't see. No, I didn't see the other one. I yeah, just, there's another one. I took a 30 minute power nap. My alarm went off. I didn't know where I was at, so at least I was asleep. And it helped after that insulin. I mean, it, is it up here to the left? Yeah, right. Yeah. And you're going to go further down and then make a right. Yep. This weather's like, God, changing like crazy right before your eyes. Yeah, it's interesting. Then it'll probably be sunny again. Yeah. (laughs) 
See, those viewers think the ultimate Jack body is Derek from More Plates, More Dates. He's yeah. just another, he's a total clickbaiter now, in my opinion. He's not even giving anything out. Is it here? No. He's not even giving anything worth it. Talking about it anymore? Yeah, they think that you do one shot of a uh, test and turn into the ultimate warrior. You know? I would make a right of the light. It's got to be. Yeah, I think it's in there. Yep. So Cornelius' wife, she looks almost as big as him. She looks great. Flexing next to him on oh, his that Instagram. Was his wife? Yep. Great arms. But then they showed her when she was bulked up. She looked pretty good then, too. Yeah, before when you were talking about having a, a personal trainer in the house, I would pick Cornelius. Honestly, wait, when he shows his clients before and after shots, yeah. you know? And he's very humble guy. He's He's exceedingly humble. Very, very. When I put the Patreon out, he said... I think it's to the left. He said $20 for what you guys provide a month. He said that's it's almost a steal. He said that's yeah. not even enough. Good. A nice compliment. Oh, wait, this is the mall. Oh. But I know it's in the... No. I think it's back there. No, it's over there. Whole Foods, I think. See where that sign oh, in is? Here? Yeah, it says Whole Foods on the top. That's it. Is that a Whole Foods? I think it says Whole Foods on the top. No. Yeah, I think this is it. Straight? Yeah. You sure? Well, we'll find out when we look at that sign. Let me look it up real quick. 